to lead the debate on this very important bill for the establishment of Nigerian Army University in Biu. The bill was read for the first time in these hallowed chambers on Tuesday, 18th February 2020. The university took off the university took off as the Nigerian University Army University Bill through the approval of the Federal Executive Council in April 2018. The university to date have matriculated 2,776 students. 1,760 are in Part 1 and 1,016 are already in Part 2. The university is currently running 39 academic programs in five faculties. The university was established to encourage and promote scholarship and conduct research on restricted fields including entrepreneurship skills. It will also secure the diffusion of knowledge throughout Nigeria in general and in the Nigerian army in particular. It is also aimed at promoting research and other means of advancement of knowledge and its practical application to military hardware and software, social, cultural, economic, scientific and technological situations. It would ensure quality compliance and provide funds for academic and research programs, infrastructures, renomination of employees and also to provide employment opportunities. The university shall be a training institution for the development of middle and high level manpower in the areas of technological empowerment for civilians, appreciation for military policies, logistics and strategies. The university shall be supervised by the Ministry of Education and the National Universities Commission will be responsible for approving and regulating all academic programs run by the university. The objectives of the university, among other things, include promote facilities for learning and give instructions and training in such branches of knowledge as the university may design in order to ensure that students obtain the advantage of liberal education. To promote research and other means of advancement of knowledge and its practical application to military hardware, software, social, cultural, economic, scientific, and technological situations, to stimulate, particularly through teaching and research, interest in and appreciation of military policies, logistics, and strategies, to encourage and promote scholarship and conduct research in restricted fields of learning and human endeavor, including entrepreneurship to secure the diffusion of knowledge throughout Nigeria in general and the Nigerian Army in particular, and to offer courses of instruction, training, and research in advancement of knowledge to produce. I think this is a reputation. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, some of the unique features of this university that is distinct from other conventional universities include one, the removal of catchment area syndrome being adopted by conventional universities, the elimination of other criteria such as race, including ethnic grouping, sex, place of birth, state of origin, religion, or political persuasion as condition for becoming or to continue to be a student in the university, and to take other measures to ensure that no person shall be subjected to any disadvantage or accorded any advantage in relation to the university. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, it is certainly true that a centralized Army University will offer better academic excellence in terms of quality of instruction or academic out outcomes. Soldiers transitioning from the military will enter the civilian workforce and compete against people with civilian academic credentials from academic uh, accredited institutions. In line with Order 77.3 of the Senate Standing Order 2015 as amended, the compendium, the compendium of the financial implications of the establishment of the university is already captured and approved in the Appropriation Act of 2020 by the National Assembly. 
I therefore crave your indulgence and support distinguished colleagues for the passage of this important bill. Thank you very much. Distinguished colleagues, Mr. President, I rise to second the second reading of this bill, uh, primarily because it is just a matter of formality. The university has already been established. As we heard from the lead uh, debate presenter, academic programs have already commenced. All we are trying to do is to give it a legal framework. Uh, financial implication has already been covered in the 2020 appropriation. And equally, uh, it started in 2018 up to 2019. So, distinguished colleagues, this is uh, one of those bills that comes here just to comply with the formalities already been you know, set out. A university cannot exist without a legal framework. And all uh, this bill is seeking us to do is to approve the legal framework. Nothing more than that. And uh, one unique feature about this university is that uh, it is a university for the entire Nigerians. It is not restricted to a particular geopolitical zone or uh, region. It is rather a national university. Uh, it is for all Nigerians, regardless of their background, uh, regardless of where they come from. And uh, another very important reason why we should support this university is that uh, it promotes education within the military cycle. As we all know, we only have one functional university for the military. That is the Nigerian Defense Academy. I'm not aware of any second one. But this one is also going to provide education for the military, whether you are from the Air Force, Navy, Army, or any other uh, paramilitary organization, you can enlist in, into this institution. So it's a university that will cater for the earnings and aspirations for Nigerians. And I therefore support the passage of this uh, bill, and I urge all my colleagues to do the same. Thank you, Mr. President. colleagues, uh, my name is Robert Borofis representing on Donald Senatorial District. I rise to second or support this uh, bill. Um, normally, I'm, I'm very scared when we roll out the number of universities we want to establish uh, because we may get the labor market saturated and create problems. Uh, I prefer this type of university, specialized university, to generalize university where we are producing uh, graduates in business administration and marketing. Where is the business? But well, a specialized university like this, which is being handled by the military, is very important. Because all over the world, the military is at the forefront of research and development in technology. The internet we use today is a product of research in the military. The satellite we use today is a result of a product of the product of research in the university. The Nigerian Defense Academy, I think, is focused on training, training military personnel. A university like this will also have additional responsibility of carrying out research and development. And because of this, I, I, I am really in support of the establishment of this university. And as my distinguished colleague, Senator Alero, said, we are only formalizing what has been approved or what is in existence. And therefore, I lend my support to the second reading of this bill. And I also want to encourage my colleagues to do the same. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Abba Moro, representing the very good people of the Benway South Senatorial District. I rise to lend my voice to support this bill, uh, Mr. President, a very straightforward bill. 
one that seeks to give a legal foundation to an existing university, and so ours is an invitation to carry out a legislative action in that regard. Mr. President, the military university in Bio is one of those unique institutions that is so desirable at this time. Given the security challenges, Mr. President, that we are facing as a country now, and given the fact that the Nigerian Army engages in virtually all activities, including but not limited to mounting roadblocks to secure our territory, I think that this is the time to give every support that we can to any institution or activity that seeks to continue to inculcate in the Nigerian Army and other military agencies and their members the professional understanding of the operations that they engage in. And therefore, Mr. President, I think the need to constantly orientate and continue to reorientate the Nigerian Army and our security professionals becomes an imperative need at this time of our nation. And therefore, given also that this university already exists and has started uh, matriculating and um, awarding degrees to no. ex members, I think, Mr. President, we owe it the responsibility as senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to give our support to this bill and also support this bill. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator. Mr. Senior President, distinguished colleagues, I'm Senator George Thompson II. I represent the University Central District. Of course, you will come. Mr. President, I am in between an opinion to support or not to support. But I will support it for this reason. First, <clears throat> between 2010 and 2015, Nigerian Bureau of Statistics give what is record. 10 million students apply for admission through JAM to all Nigerian universities. 10 million. And in this number, only 2 million 600 applicants were admitted, leaving a whooping number of 7 million 400 persons. Now, this increase those who move about on our streets. Many of those that we are not taking, it is not necessarily because they were not qualified or they didn't have their own requirements in terms of the credit funds, but because the university felt that they didn't meet their other requirement of a, this other exam they did, and maybe jam cut off point. So every year this number is building up. That is why if we bring any, any university, whatever name, it is good to stand by it. Standing by it means standing by the younger people who are seeking for admission and who are even more frustrated. So on that note, or on that basis, I will support it. But I have my caveat. Mr. President, we all know that there are some established military schools in Nigeria. First, we have the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Jajin, for junior officers. Second is the National Defense College, Abuja, which is off affiliated to the University of Ibadan and is, all, is, is awarding up to master's degrees. They are doing strategic military studies and peace. And then we have the Nigerian Defense Academy that is also giving up to a degree and up PhD. Now, that itself is a military school. If you look at this one, then we are establishing a school to be called Nigerian Armed Forces School, Military School, Armed Forces School. You see, if I am the one to decide, 
I would have loved to expand the National Defense College, which up to now has not gone to its, uh, uh, their, their site. They are still using temporary site up to now. They have not moved to their own site. Why? There is no fund, no money. If you go to NDA, Defense Academy, there are many things they ought to have done. They couldn't do. No money. Now, we are establishing a school in the name of the Army directly. If you now look at the studies they are going to do, from what he has told us, they are not merely military causes. So I will advise this. I will advise this. In a period when there is no money and fund is very scarce, and if you are specializing in a particular thing, especially with the name given to it, Nigerian Army University. If it is university of university in view, no problem. But Nigerian military university, they should somehow have at least seventy percent of studies in military science, military science and military hardware development. In that way, they will help the country to grow better. But if they go and do the same business administration, marketing, secretary administration, then I don't think we, are, we will achieve an hem. That is, because there is no fund. Recently, Mr. President, you will aware, we set up a committee on national security based on issues that are on our hands. And I am sure one of the major issues that I established in the proceeding of that, of that, of that uh, meeting is paucity of fund, lack of fund, no budgetary, budgetary uh, releases and all that. That is what observed in, in, in that one. But now, that is why the military don't have that big capacity they need to use to fight the insurgents, the Boko Haram, bandits and whatever name we give to them. And then we, now, knowing that we don't have money and there's no fund, we are now establishing another institution. Where will the money come from? But because of our failure to admit all of our students to the tertiary schools, I will stand by the bill and support it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Senator Sam Ebu. I am Sam Ebu, I represent the Bonyanos Tertiary District. Mr. President, I stand up here to support this bill for obvious reasons. From what we know about this military school, it is a military school that anybody can enroll, can enter. The other that I've mentioned are specifically for military people. This one, for those of us who were interested in joining the army, but never have a, had the opportunity of being enrolled into the army, but still have interest in that uh, profession. It's an opportunity for, for, for some of us, even after we have retired, we have retired, like myself from this National Assembly, I can enroll into that university, get admission and study, because that has been my passion. And I know there are a lot of Nigerians who would want to do the same thing, not necessarily to go and fight, but to know and learn about military techniques, military policies, military warfare, and all the related uh, uh, um, exercises in military profession. Mr. President, if this university produces professors, the research papers they produce will be made used by the regular soldiers. Mr. President, in, 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 in periods of war or emergencies, like in Israel, where people are mobilized outside those in the regular soldiers, in the, in the regular force, it's the people that have gone through these institutions that will easily enroll and give supporting services to our regular soldiers. Mr. President, I believe that this university is the right thing being done at this time because it will offer opportunity for more Nigerians who are interested in military profession to enroll and get the required knowledge that they will use at times of emergency, even in self-defense. Even in self-defense, we all don't have to enter the battlefield. 
or to wear khaki or to go on deployment for us to understand what is happening in military warfare. So, Mr. President, I stand here not just to support the bill, but to urge my colleagues, by the time you retire from here, please, the military school is there for you to enroll and get the necessary knowledge that will enable you to even participate in national development. Uh, with this point, Mr. President, I stand here strongly supporting this bill and urge my, my colleagues to do the same. Thank you very much. Thank you. Senator Francis Adenigba Fadamsi. <coughs> Francis Adenigba Fadamsi from Mosul State. I like to support the bill brought in by Senator Udume on the Nigeria Army University bill. Uh, if somebody understands the, <coughs> the topography of that area, you will see that there is a long way to the University of Meduguri. And uh, people suffer a lot before they could gain admission into the University of Meduguri. And uh, with the university establishment there, automatically the people on that side, down to uh, Senator Dume's side, they will be able to assess university education. And uh, maybe if you go far north, that's Gamburu, Ghana area, you still have a long distance which people have to come to the same University of Meduguri that is overstressed. And uh, nowadays that uh, university is becoming very close to the society. Uh, I salute the courage of the, the brain behind the university and it will allow uh, those, uh, the people of that area to get technological education they needed. Automatically, the retirement of many generals who are scientists, they will provide a lot of uh, brains that will be needed to train all these students, apart from the economics and so on. The source of uh, teaching is already there. According to him, the finance is there already. And it's not going to be a, a, an overbloated university that will continue to cost for more funds from the uh, federal government. Uh, with this, another uh, argument I support uh, the bill that the University of uh, Army should be established in that particular area to support the educational uh, system of that particular zone. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator James Ibiro, Manager. <coughs> Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, Kashim Shetima is my name. I represent the good people of Borno Central. I rise to align myself with the earlier speakers on the imperative of giving a legal backing to the establishment of the Nigeria Army University Bill. Your Excellency, distinguished colleagues, the wall is now a knowledge driven wall, and elite military institutions in other climes like the United States, compete comfortably with the Yale, with the Harvards, with the Princeton and other Ivy League institutions in terms of their output. And yet this morning I was listening to an international news channel while the Syrian army was gleefully reporting about bringing down three drones from Turkey. That goes to show that modern warfare is fought in disguise and is largely knowledge driven. So it's high time we should, as a nation, buy into this idea of establishing more of such institutions so that it can provide the adequate resource base needed for the transformation of our military institutions in this country. I believe that the military university in view 
the beauty of it is not only about the elimination of the Kachman area syndrome, but that 70% of the student intake in that institution are civilians. We will go a long way in addressing our educational deficiencies in the country. And most importantly, the location of the university. In as much as I align myself with Senator James Manager, the environment of view is picturesque, is near temperate climate, which is very ideal for academic pursuits. I wish to call on all our colleagues to kindly support this bill for the Nigerian Army University Bill. I also submit to South Central District. Mr. President, I stand to support this bill. And my support really is based you know, on four issues. Number one, Mr. President, I just believe you are very magnanimous when it comes to making contributions you know, to debates like this. Otherwise, I don't think we should uh, spend too much time really having to, you know, uh, talk too exhaustively on debates like this. Number one, Mr. President, you are aware that even in the A Senate, institutions that were already in existence, we need as, uh, as a lawmaking body for this country to legitimize them by coming to give them legal framework. I think this is just one of them. You recall that in the 8th Senate, the Deputy Senate President now came up with, uh, you know, the University of Petroleum in a forum. Of course, that one was already in existence. He came up with legal framework and this Senate approved. This university is already in existence since 2018. And what we are doing here is just to give a legal framework. If we don't pass it now, it has started existing. It has 39 faculties or departments that are already in existence. Are you going to dismantle that? So what we are doing is just to formalize the establishment of that university. Number two, Mr. President, let me tell you that tertiary education in Nigeria, you are an academic, Mr. President, yourself. You know that tertiary education in Nigeria, a lot of persons have advanced different reasons why we should not establish more universities and all of that. We know, just like Senator Sekibo said, the number of universities you are going to, you are going to you know, establish in Nigeria, we never swallow the figure of people who are still seeking tertiary education in Nigeria. And we don't have standards yet to say we have enough universities that have been established good enough to take all of them. So having a Nigeria Army University, I don't think is out of place. Number two, Nigeria Army has primary school. Nigeria Army has secondary school. Why well, can Nigeria Army not have Army school? It is their culture. So I don't see anything you know, wrong with that. But again, this university is still going to be under the control of the regulatory agencies that we have. One, the Federal Ministry of Education. Two, National University Commission. So why can't we establish it? It's a university for the whole country. So I strongly support it, and uh, if there is anything, myself, as you know, I have enough for education, and please, one of the things that made us to support you, Mr. President, too, you said we have about 13, 13 million of our youths that are supposed to go to school. This one, when their time comes, it will only provide spaces for them to have the child education. Thank you very much. Senator Abubakar Kiari. My name is Abubakar Kiari, Senator representing Borno North. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to support this wonderful deal for the establishment of the Nigeria Army University Bill. Even though as the mover of the bill has said that the university took off in 2018, um, I would like to point out a little bit of the flaws on their maiden admission when they first started. It was a bit lopsided and I want to plead with the Nigerian Army University view to open up their admissions to all, not only based on a small area uh, where, the, the, where it's located. I also know that a university is located in an area where it's supposed to be a benefit to that locality, but at the same time, they should open up the admissions 
so that everybody has equal opportunity to gain admission into the university. Uh, this uh, university that is run by the Nigerian Army, and also I know that the discipline will also run down through the university. So I welcome this idea. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. Thank you very much, distinguished colleague. Senator Sekibo pointed out uh, that we already have some institutions that train the military, the NDA, the armed forces, command and staff in Jaji, the National Defense College. There is nothing wrong to have uh, a Nigerian Army University. But my advice here will be that they should be under one supervision. When you have the first three I mentioned under the supervision of the Ministry of Defense, and then this Nigeria Army University going to the Federal Ministry of Education and National Universities Commission, a problem of some sort could come up. Duplication and maybe working at cross purposes. I think with this university being established, and probably subsequently the Air Force, the Navy may decide, let there be specialization. I would prefer to have the Nigerian Army University completely focusing on anything and everything Army. If we allow, for example, the Nigerian Army University to start uh, admitting people to read BSc Sociology and the rest of it, like some of our institutions are doing today, the purpose for setting it up will be lost. So I think there is need for the entire defense-related institutions to be under the supervision of the Ministry of Defense, so that even the curricula will be properly, properly defined. Otherwise, we may establish the Nigeria Army University, Nigeria Air Force University, and what have you. But at the end of the day, we may not get the maximum benefit from those establishments. With this, I will put uh, the question. Those in favor that this bill be now read a second time, say aye. Those against, say nay. The ayes have it. Clerk of the Senate. 22nd reading. A bill for an act to establish the Nigerian Army University Bill to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration and for related matters 2020 second reading taken and the bill is referred to the Senate Committee on Army to report back within four weeks. Thank you very much. Leader.